Dementia is a general term that describes several symptoms, including impairment of memory, communication, ability to focus, reasoning and judgment, and visual perception. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia. It accounts for up to 80% of the cases where dementia symptoms are observed. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive degenerative disorder that attacks the brain's nerve cells or neurons, resulting in loss of memory, thinking and language skills, and behavioral changes. Let's say that you're making your favorite chocolate cake recipe. You don't want to lose or damage the original recipe, so what do you do? You make a photocopy of that recipe. You, that copy is the one that does the work. It's out on the counter, it's being spilled on and, and torn and dropped on the floor and stepped on or who knows what. Uh, but it's used to assemble the right ingredients in the right proportions. Eventually, it gets worn out. And when it does, and you can't read it anymore, you toss it out, you make another copy from the original. When all the ingredients are assembled in the right proportions, you have batter, not cake. Then you use the oven to complete the process of making a cake. The basic process of how genes and environment result in an organism and its traits is similar to this process. DNA, the original recipe, is transcribed into RNA while remaining in a protected location. The RNA, uh, the photocopied recipe, is then used outside of that protected area to assemble each component of a protein in the right order and combination, which would be the batter. Finally, the environment, which could range from the other proteins in the air to the personal relationships you have to the air that you breathe, influences the final result. We have many ongoing projects and continue to work to contribute to the large collaborations as well as some of our own unique and what we believe to be creative and good ideas. And this kind of relates to something important that struck me from President Uchtdorf's conference talk in October of 2008, where he shared his friend Hanno Lushin's wise words regarding moving a piano. Many of you are familiar with this. He said, stand close together and lift where you stand. I believe that these words can be applied in many aspects of our lives. Our work at BYU embodies this principle by contributing in meaningful ways to the largest projects in Alzheimer's disease research. In this way, we stand close together with our research community. In addition, we've carefully assessed our resources and developed additional ways to contribute to solving this disease that are uniquely ours. We lift where we stand. I pray that whether we are considering Alzheimer's disease or any other condition or challenge of the human condition, that we will stand close together and lift where we stand. To me, that means leveraging every one of our talents and the circumstances that our Heavenly Father has blessed us with to serve others and to do good continually. This BYU Forum address with Keone Calve was given on July 19, 2016.